so somebody asked me on Reddit to make a video on this, and I've been meaning to make videos on my Kenshi cheese strats and Kenshi, uh, I guess, training, quote unquote, uh, for ages anyways, because when people ask me on Twitch, I, uh, I always just have to tell them rather than show them. So this way I can show somebody how to do something, how to do a specific training without actually needing to physically always do it every time I stream Kenshi. Um, so today we're training crossbows, crossbows and perception. Oops, wrong button. This and this. Now I've assembled a variety of races here and uh, sub races. So we've got a Greenlander, a Scorchlander, a Shek, a Hive Worker, and a Hive Prince. I don't have a Hive Soldier because why the heck would you ever make a Hive Soldier a crosswoman? That doesn't mean you can't, <laughs> but everybody should know the result of that one. We're also not doing a skeleton because, well, the skeletons do everything reasonably well. They're skeletons. That's, that's what they are. Um, I'm going to showcase off how each of these kind of levels separately because obviously the Shek is probably going to be a little slower than, for example, um, the Hive Prince. So... Uh, first of all, you have to have a crossbow. Obviously, you need a crossbow for crossbow training. Any bolts, any crossbow will do. I'm pretty sure different crossbows don't level you faster. For this purpose, though, I do all have high-grade toothpicks on everybody here. So, it's all the same crossbows so that nothing is skewed in favor of something. Then you want to head to Morn. As soon as you're in Morn... You want to find this giant centerpiece of a, a, a former lab, or abandoned headquarters as they call it, but I call them labs. Uh, and you want to head up it. Just, uh, just head to this door. Make sure that nobody really sees you once you're up here. You kind of want to hide in a corner, because if they see you picking this door, they will murder you. Or smashing this door, I guess. Looks like we're smashing it. But yeah, you can just stand in this corner here. And you should be fine. Just smash this open or pick it open if you have somebody with lock picking. I just started this fresh, so I don't have anybody with lock picking. So there's that as a reason. Otherwise, you know, I'd be getting into this pretty quickly. But I decided to do this on like a fresh playthrough. This is the uh, Freedom Seekers. After this, you can stop sneaking you don't have to be sneaking up here they can see you up here just as long as they don't see you messing with their door it's fine and then you want to go to the back side now the lab has four entrances two at the front right beside each other and then two separated by a single wall you can do it against this wall too but i prefer this back wall because it's longer and there's less likelihood of them accidentally finding the target that we'll be training on through like a door or something then you just line your people up at the back here. Do what you will. They don't even have to be lined up. I just like to line them up in case they do, for some reason, decide to shoot a bolt and shoot it into each other. And then you don't notice and they bleed out and then you have to F9 to reload a quick save. and It's a mess. It's a mess. You don't want it. Next thing you want to do, once you have your people lined up here, is make sure they're on ranged. And this one's really important. Make sure they're on hold. This needs to be pressed. Otherwise, they will walk in order to shoot the target that's inside here. For Kenshi veterans, you already know what's inside here. But for those of you who don't, don't go past this point in the video. Because I will spoil it now. So, click off the video. This is all you need to know for training. This is already done. The video is already over. Uh, just line them up here. Put your person on sneak. And border on the inside here. That's all you need to know. That's everything. But for the purposes of the video, I'll be going further. So just click off here if you don't want it spoiled. Alright, onwards. Um, for the next part here, you want your person, your one person that isn't training crossbows, so in this case our old soldier here, you want them sneaking and just bordering in. You don't, you don't need them to go in far, you just need them to establish sight inside the building. So you don't have to be inside the building, you just barely have to be touching. You see how I'm kind of like, just barely inside the building, and it gives me line of sight? That's all you need. And then with these guys, you want to right-click this great white gorilla, 
and you want to attack unprovoked. He's not going to move. He doesn't see the old soldier. The old soldier is not a threat because it's not actually inside the tower where the great white gorilla will be mad at him. And these guys will just permanently aim at the wall because they're on hold and they're not allowed to move. And they'll just be trading crossbows all day, all night. And it does it pretty darn quickly. So we're going to four times this. I'm going to cut it probably out of the video a bit, but I'll go for like a day or two or something like that. And uh, we'll see just how far we get in terms of like two days worth of training. It's, it's very easy. It's basically free XP. Like... There's nothing that's going to threaten you here in Morn, other than if, you know, like an Elder Beak thing wanders down here and starts slaughtering the town. Well, it doesn't come up here anyways, so you should be safe. It's, it's probably the safest crossbow training that you can do, and it's probably the easiest crossbow training you can do. The downside of this is you do not train precision shooting, so this is very dangerous to do if you have like an all-crossbow group that's shooting into each other they're going to start wrecking each other because they will do a lot of damage. Like, a lot. So, keep them on toothpicks for a while and train their precision shooting. They likely won't hit each other because they'll be so accurate because of all this training. But in case they do, <laughs> they, will, they will murder people. So don't start equipping people with eagles crosses because they will take your own people's heads off. Um, and they also don't train dexterity. So their reloads are still going to be very slow. Now, I do also have a way to train dexterity through cheese, and I can show you guys that as well if you want a video on that. I also have a way to train toughness, uh, strength. I mean, strength is really basic. It's just hauling rocks around in a circle, but you can follow guards, which is... That's literally the cheese tutorial for that, so that one's super easy. Probably will never make a video on that. But there's all kinds of ways to train everything through the power of cheese, basically. So if you guys want any kind of uh, a video on any particular skill I can I can probably make a video turrets there's no real way to cheese it just just make a make a thing and crank up like put something in the foglands make some turrets and just crank up horde size multiplier <laughs> and just go to town preferably with skeletons who are really good turret guards to begin with because they don't eat But yeah, you can see, you can see here that some people are leveling just a little bit faster than others, and that's because of the 1.2 times multiplier. Uh, this would be leveling dexterity faster for this guy, but, uh, you know, it doesn't level dex. So yeah, this is all you're doing. You can just put it on four times, you can make yourself a cup of tea, you can go have dinner or something, and then come back and your squad will be fully trained. It's basically just free AFK training. And that's the training in roughly a day, I guess. Yeah, it's about a day's worth of training. So everybody's got 37 crossbows across the board here. I mean, they're still going at it, you know, whatever. But 37 crossbows across the board, pretty decent result. Uh, 59 perception on everybody that doesn't have a bonus. And for the one that does have a bonus, he has five extra perception at 64. Not an insane bonus, but you can definitely see why you might want Hive Princes as, you know, Marksmen or something like that. I prefer Hive Drones myself because uh, Dex bonus, but everything works. Also, uh, hive, uh, hive Drones run faster than uh, Hive Princes. Speed, speed. You just kite with crossbows. Anyways, that's pretty much the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, I might do more of these if people want. I might. Uh, things for toughness, etc. Uh, dex, attack, all those things. Uh, defense is really easy. That one, I don't think anybody really needs a tutorial on. You just press block and run into hordes of things. Especially big things. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I might do more of these. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good day.